let me tell you a little story about a man named William McKinley Jr. Born in Niles, Ohio on January 29, 1843, he would become the last Civil War vet to become president. In fact, at 18, the first unit he was assigned to during the war was commanded by another future president named Rutherford B. Hayes. At 28, he married Ida Saxton and together had two children. Sadly, neither lived past five. He served as a lawyer, member of the House of Representatives and Governor of Ohio. He designed the McKinley Tariff, which raised rates on imports to the highest in history, all to promote the sale of American products. In 1896, William McKinley was elected as the nation's 25th president, becoming the last president of the 19th century and the first of the 20th. He was also the first president to appear on film, taking place during his inauguration. His presidency would be defined by the Spanish-American War, known as the easiest war in history, and two years later, he won re-election. On September 5, 1901, William McKinley was in Buffalo, New York, shaking hands with the public when Leon Frank Cholgo shot him in the stomach. Doctors were unable to find the bullet, and on September 14, 1901, eight days after the shooting, William McKinley died at the age of 58. And there you go, a little story about a man named William.